Christy here from Crimbo's Chronicles. It is moving day and I'm ready to go. We're going to, I say this a lot, but it's my favorite campground. This one's in San Dimas, California called Benelli Bluffs. I caught some really good uh, sunrise photos from that location and uh, I just love it there. We probably won't have the same lucky camp spot, but still i'm excited this is also where we will hit the end sign of route 66 so sadly the end of route 66 there's still a little few things to see before we get to that end spot but uh yeah we've got some adventures afterwards so stay with us it's not over let's hit the road two hour drive to san dimas I'm ready to go. We just got to get Jimbo back in here. He is cleaning up some catastrophe stuff from this morning. That's how it goes with a 20-year-old cat sometimes, you know? So, all right. So there's where we're parked, and there's a hill there. And I can still see the sunrise that happens over there from our site. Yeah, well, nobody's on these sites. Look at this. Just a slight roll down the hill here. Oh, look at that. I think sun roses. Look at that. Yeah. Look at this view. There's an airport right there. Small airport, San Dimas. Um, but we do see the planes flying in, small ones bunch of rich people over on these hills over here. Look at that garden right there. <laughs> yeah. I think that's Benelli Lake. Jimbo and I are walking the dog in this beautiful campground. Look how spring sprang sprung. Spring sprung. Look at that. Where are those bougainvillea? We got those at home. But then look at this. Wait. Just you wait. Look at that. Almost got hit by a golf cart. I could just, yeah, and then hibiscus over here, wow, they're just full of colors. Everything is so colorful right now. Oh, so picturesque. Whoa. like a paper tree or something. What do you do? Oh, that guy. Oh, it's a beautiful tree. That guy's still trying to park over there. Oh, and they got horseshoes up here. Could you imagine this place in the lively summertime? like yeah but like yeah I uh, saw it when we were leaving basketball Oop. there's the showers for reference the beautiful view and we are right there but we're on this big hill over there you'll see a gazebo and umbrella right there that's where the pool is oh. ain't it beautiful i know he's not wearing it right and he hasn't wanted to come outside until california 
Come here. Seven. Come here. He's just skin and bones and I don't have this on tight on him. I don't want him to hurt. We don't really use it to go for walks. He just wants to check things out every once in a while. Right? I do have, I don't know if I said this before, but he has an apple collar on, or an apple tag. That's the tag, the white piece. And every time I get a certain distance away, it uh, alerts me. Good morning, Christy and Jimbo here from Crimbo's Chronicles. We're gonna go explore some stuff. We're still at the San Dimas location for our campsite. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check stuff out within an hour of the campground, so come along. We are in San Bernardino. Ho, ho, ho. What would Scooby do? Get it, Scooby-Doo? Huh. Obviously, that's not the original. Right, babe? He's cute, though. There's all kinds of uh, art here. Oh, when the hamburgers were 15 cents with them in the beginning. We're San Bernardino. We're San Bernardino. We will rise. A song of hope from Rory Murray. <sighs> oh, don't forget the giant hot dog. There's a Flintstone car over there. And remember that ride in the McDonald's playground? And you could get inside the burger if you were a little kid. Well, when you were a little kid. And these rides. Another oh, little fish. What? Fish burger? Oh. Fillet of fish. They're filet of fish. Oh, there's a chicken. Go inside the hamburger. Oh. The mural's really detailed. Hey, hey, hey. Route 66 was established in 1926 as the original U.S. highway linking Chicago to Los Angeles. I haven't told you that a million times. The route passed right by this property. At some point, that was Route 66. So, cars similar to this Model T Kitty ride were used to travel the route. Imagine what it would be like driving through the hot desert during the summer with no air conditioning. Speaking of summer, it's not summer yet. It's still spring. There's the official sign. Site of the original McDonald's. Richard and Maurice McDonald, founders of McDonald's Historic Route 66. Officer Big Mac created in 1970 following the successful and introduction of the Big Mac sandwich. This McDonald's Playland character with its built-in jail look quickly became a popular attraction for young kids. Absolutely. And I do love me a Big Mac. The Arches. Unofficial McDonald's Museum. Welcome to the site of the original McDonald's free admission. Oh, free admission. Monday through Friday. And they're open on all days. 
these turquoise terrazzo tiles were salvaged from the original Golden Arches building designed in 1953 for Dick McDonald. His layout was the standard for all stores for nearly 20 years. The distinctive 1950s architecture was replaced with modern but boring looking rectangle brick buildings. These two pieces of polished stone are the last links to that era. I try to get it without my shadow in it. Where's the other one? Oh. There's some old picnic tables. Richard and Maurice McDonald. They're who you can thank for your Big Mac. All right, let's, cameras welcome, yes. Hello. Hello. Where are you guys from? Florida. Okay, you're visitor number seven today. Okay. Yay. We have a free history sheet, tells the history of the property, you can have that. Awesome, thank you. And the mint if you want, you can look around, take pictures. Uh, you like our museum, please leave a donation to keep our doors open. Put it in the Big Mac. Hamburger Bank. Okay. Where Ronald is. Any yeah. questions? My name is Jack. Right, thank you, Jack. Thank you. Anyways, here in this Juan Pollo company, this There's is the man. Here. Hold they it. called him the chicken man. He, uh, he bought a piece of history. He paid one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. Well, let him talk. I had a uh, Barbie McDonald's. Oh, I've burnt myself plenty of times on those. Oh, not the electric ones. Oh, these were the toys. The Happy Meal toys, y'all. Okay, I was bored with the Beanie Babies, but this kind of stuff was my jam. Especially since I loved Cabbage Patch dolls. Oh, I, I want to buy some of them. So cute. Oh, there's E.T. from when E.T. was a thing. There's Kobe. <laughs> this short was shirt was worn in the movie Fast Food Empire. Ooh. That's when the shake machines always worked, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the old burger wraps. Oh, okay, so when then we had the Dalmatian movie come out, I guess they had Dalmatian toys. Original tiles from Ray Kroc's McDonald's. In 1961, Ray Kroc bought McDonald's for 2700000 He thought this property was included. It wasn't. Ray was furious. He made the McDonald's brother remove the Golden Arches. Croc then built official McDonald's just one block north. Everyone thought this McDonald's had moved there. After Ray Croc forced the brothers to sell this property, he let the 15th Street McDonald's fall by the wayside, closing it in the late 70s. The building was declared a safety hazard and was demolished in 2003. Included in this display case are some of the original tiles from the McDonald's that Ray Croc built out of spite. <laughs> This original McDonald's was demolished in 72. The property became a historical landmark in 92. It was purchased by Albert Okira, founder of the Juan Polo restaurant chain in 1998 and became this museum. Hamburglar. Mm. Oh, this is the Barbie series. Oh, those people really like McDonald's, too. Hmm. Now, I think I have a wrapper. It might be Burger King, though. Los Ah, Big Galapino. Los Wolchos. Oh, I remember that Ronald McDonald toy. He could pull things out of his pockets, blow his whistle. I don't remember much else about it. Woody Buzz. Oh, Vader. Oh, 
Oh, and there's Burger King. The King. Hmm. The competition's toys. Huh. <laughs> this is the competition. They're toys. Well, they looked fun too. Oh, there's Gumby and Pokey. All sorts of good stuff. Oh, there's the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, and your raisins. The California raisins. Huh. Poutine. Oh. Hmm. Oh, they may be doing Route 66 also. But he did say route, and that's not how you say it. You can be on the route. But it's called Route 66. Right, babe? <laughs> France. Huh. Oh, the box is unhappy. These are different countries. Australia had kangaroo toys. What is that? Oh, that's cute. Oh. Oh, and some pants. Ba da ba ba ba. Hmm. All the countries. I guess these are all people that owned McDonald's in those countries. Oh, the rules and regulations for playing on the playground. You had to be four feet tall. Grimace! He's kind of creepy. San Bernardino, Bernardino is the birthplace of fast food. That's what that says anyway. I like the little mini Happy Meal. But Jack up there is full of information, isn't he? Aww. Who's round and jolly and full of fun? Who's shaped like great big hamburger bun? Who's got a job that's a super breeze? Who else says Ronald but Mayor McCheese? Vote for Mayor McCheese. Oh, Lee. It's just avenue of after avenue of Happy Meal toys. Oh, 84. I was only two years old then. <laughs> Where is our year or my year? I see your year. The 70s, but I don't see my year. Uh, you know, actually, um, we're a chicken company. We bought this property. We're, uh, have you ever heard of a company called Juan Pollo? No. It's a rotisserie company with 25 restaurants. Anyways, uh, the man who owns the chicken company paid $135,000 for this property. And he made this into a museum. And uh, so, uh, we, we, what we did is he bought the building and we bought a bunch of display cases 
and we've been filling it with toys from people who donate. Wow. This is all. Is Donation? All, is this where all the pictures are? People that donated yeah, and stuff? Yeah, we, we give them credit because of what they're doing. Right. Um, and that's how we're able to accumulate this uh, big uh, collection. I wish I had some toys to donate. I got a picture of myself in a Ronald McDonald outfit when I was three. That's all I got. Oh, well, um, send, send me your picture. Uh, my, my name is Jack over here. Okay. Um, so what uh, McDonald's, uh, uh, when you were a kid, uh, did, that, did you, what city were you in? That would have been Stewart, Stewart, Florida. Okay, if you want, if you want, I'm just telling you, if you take my card, Follow me, your photograph, tell me what city and how old you were. Okay. And then I'll put it in the museum. The next time you come over, look for Waldo. I mean, what's your name? Christy. Look. <laughs> You're funny. <gasps> Babe. Jack. Babe. <laughs> Both of you. This gecko right here. Is modeled after this tattoo. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh yeah, Grippy. Let me see. Well, Why? Let me see that gecko. I'm sorry. I had no idea that he was a thing. I created it. Yeah. I need it. That's my gecko. No. Um, this is what you're getting. You're getting the heart. I love. Oh, Route I love it. That's the new packaging. I love it. But anyways. I was in the South Pacific, and I was, uh, uh, I saw a baby gecko born. <gasps> uh, uh, I saw an egg, and it was transparent, and I saw a gecko curled up in it. Oh. And then I, I, I How big was the egg? Oh my goodness. And I saw it, and I, I was watching it. And then I saw it push, and it cracked open. Then it popped its head out, and then it pushed the shell away, and it was, its eyes were closed, and, and it was opening like this, looking around, and I was amazed. Anyways, uh, that that was my my gecko. That's and, awesome. And I created the packaging, um, and my name is Jack right there. Grippy the gecko. Well, that is crazy. I need a pin too. So let's come around the corner. Oh, yeah? It's a book. I'll enjoy that. It's called the uh, Fast Freddy's Friendly Golf Kiss. Thanks, Jack. Um, oh. <laughs> and so that's, I, uh, I, I designed that for a real, for a, oh, a, I can a color. developer who owns uh, golf courses. And so he came up to me one day and he said, can you create some cartoons for me for um, my, an idea I have for my golf courses? I said, sure. So we, he took me to the golf course and uh, he told me a story of all these crazy people who act like animals. <laughs> and I said, okay, that's what I came up with. I love it. And, and if you want to, I don't know how to play golf. Well, he, he took me and explained to me the, what golf is all about. And so that is for people who love golf. You know what our golf courses have that no others do? Alligators. Oh, alligators. <laughs> Would you like the receipt? No, that's not good. Okay, uh, alligators, okay. Yeah, they crawl all over the place. Wow. So now where are these uh, chicken restaurants? Um, let me give you a menu. There's 25 restaurants. Oh. Now, uh, you want a big bag or a small bag? Um, small, or you say he's going to say no yeah, bag. Yep. Save the bag. Save the yeah, bag. The, the chicken restaurant, the guy who put, who bought this property is right here. He's the chicken man. Was he the guy that just pulled out of the parking lot in a Monte Carlo? Uh -huh. No, he oh. drives a chicken car. With oh. Girl. <laughs> he makes cartoons too. In fact, I created his, uh, his little series of chickens for years ago. Uh, but anyways, he... Uh, He's around the restaurant, rotisserie chicken from Chihuahua. <laughs> so it's called Juan Pollo. Cute. Anyways, um. Well, thank you, Jack. You've been so helpful. I love your, your artwork. 
Yes, thank you very much. Enjoy, and uh, like I said, I'll put your picture, and when you come back, look for Waldo. Yes. I mean, not Waldo. Yeah, I get you. Thank you. Have a good one. Well, that was even better than I thought it would be. Kind of want to walk around the building. I cannot believe he's the guy that created my lizard. Oh, wow. It's okay, so one of our followers suggested this place right here. I don't know if we'll make it there. Is it a coffee place? Oh. oh wow this is look there's Santa Monica the end of the trail there's the the pier there's all the people where <laughs> oh that's so cute huh Pasadena, Pomona, Mount Baldy. The world's most detailed mural. Oh, no wonder it's so detailed. Wow, it's amazing. Tofurky. <laughs> wow, Wigwam Motels. There's the McDonald's. This exact spot, y'all. In 1940, Richard and Maurice McDonald built their barbecue restaurant. In 1948, they remodeled the restaurant as illustrated below. You are here. Well, we're here. You're watching a video. <laughs> Tabitha, look! We got to see the Wiener Mobile too. Gotta take a picture. There's the world's largest thermometer. We went there. Oh, this is the best mural ever. Oh, and there's a Dumb and Dumber car. And then from Cars, Lightning McQueen. Oh, there's the Stay Puff Victorville Museum. Forget. Oh, there's Elmore's Bottle Ranch. Here it is. Oh, I'm sure there was so many things I missed on this. Back to the Future DeLorean. Mad Max Interceptor. Hadley's Fruit Orchard. Oh, then we'll have the, uh, and, uh, what? Where? That thing on the Oh. What, on Roy's. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go there. Can you guess what that is? That's Joshua Trees. All I can say is I don't think the homeless are too thrilled about me screaming how excited I am about this place. Needles. Spike, Snoopy's brother lives in Needles. Charles Schultz, creator of Peanuts, lived there for two years from 1928 to 1930. I'm getting sunburnt. <laughs> oh, we're sand burning. Oh, I already said that. Wowzers. Scooby Dooby Doo.
And again, that says the world's most detailed mural here too. That was fun. All right, let's on to the next thing, Route 66. <laughs> 